What is good friends, we are back with more smoke on Snake Drive, we got High playing for the Leviathans, BKC playing for the Bushmasters. We're gonna rewatch the first few turns that we missed. See it's a Z-move Tapulele, so now BKC is gonna hard switch out actually, um, potentially fearing... Um, like he knew he couldn't kill the Lele outside of with a potential Z-move, and he didn't want to use a Z-move already. And he also was fearing um, going for U-turn into the Rocky Helmet Torn. So now he goes the the U-turn with his Landers, which is most likely Scarf. The is gonna get the Rocks up here. Hai is gonna U-turn into either the Tangors or the Celestila. And now Hai is either gonna lead sheet or put a double switch here because the Volcanion is really obvious, and I'm pretty sure he doesn't want to heavy slam into the Volcanion. So doubles in the Torn, which is a good play. Um, this is most likely max HP since it's revealed Rocky Hamlet and it's gonna be able to live a steam eruption and yeah, knock off the leftovers from the Volcanion. So now High is probably gonna hard switch out to get that regenerator. Uh, most likely into Greninja because Greninja resists both steps from Volcanion and can switch in once. I assume this Volcanion is a sub 3 attacks variant, it could also be sub 2 attacks toxic. Uh, but I assume it's just sub 3 attacks. So the Greninja could be either Battlebone, Choice Specs or Protein. Uh, pro protein. Dude, I'm really bad at pronouncing that. Uh, Scarf is an option as well, but it might not be Scarf. Like, Water Shuriken gives him priority and he has a bulky backbone. He has a uh, double Kartana checks in Rocky Helmet, Torn, and Celestila. And Tangos as well, which has to be AV. Tangos has to be AV on highest side to help him deal with opposing Greninja. Zemo on the Lele, and then, then it's gonna be Rocks, Magatar in the last slot. So, because he's most likely just gonna switch out here into his Megina or into his um, Dianzi, but Megina just makes more sense. Dianzi was too risky because, like, Dark Pulse would have done a lot, or Hydro Pump would have destroyed it um, in case Hy Hydro Pump depreciated the switch because it was really unlikely that Volcanion was gonna stay in. Because um, Volcanion is a big threat to highest team. The only one that resists both steps is already worn down, it's the Greninja. So, whenever the Volcanion comes in, on like the tank or the Celestila, it can prove to be a threat. Like it can definitely be a threat. Uh, because he's free to click Volt Switch here, High does not have a ground type. And this Megina is most likely Assault Vest or Spadef Leftovers with like um, Volt Switch, Flash Can, Pain Split and Heart Swap. But I assume it's Assault Vest and which means Tangros is most likely Fist Death Rocky Helmet with HPIs, Giga Drain, um, either Earthquake or Knockoff and then probably Sleep Out in the last move. So now we could see Tornadoes or Volcanion come up, goes in a Torn, just wants to get some regen most likely. Um, this Torn is either Z Hurricane or Z All Out Pummeling. It could definitely be All Out Pummeling because he doesn't really have good Heatran switch-ins. Like he has DNC and Volcanion and Lando to check Heatran, but all those three months don't really want to come in on Heatran. Um, Lando takes a lot from Magnus Storm or gets destroyed by Fire Z. Volcanion and DNC both get bobbed by Earth Power. So like he doesn't have great heatran counters, he only has some checks. So this might be all pummeling, or it might also be sky strike. I'm really not 100 percent sure, but High definitely doesn't want to stay in here and lose the tank. Uh, so he's gonna switch out here. He's either gonna sack his own tornadoes, or he's gonna go to Titar. As because he pulls a double into Tangrowth, I think because he predicted him to um, to go into Titar. Uh, High was maybe willing to sack the Torn, or if he predicted that, he's a complete Don. If he predicted the Tangros, he's a Don father. But I think he might have just wanted to sack the Torn, um, kind of scout for a potential fighting move, and he didn't want to go hard Tita. Because um, now that he got the U turn in, now he can actually go Tita, get Tita in on the Torn. Not hard switch into Tita on Torn, but get Tita in on a free turn on the Torn, which means he can probably live a potential fighting move as long as it's not the all pummeling. He can probably live like a regular Focus Blast or Superpower. I mean, it depends on Tita's investment. If it's like bulky, it can definitely live a fighting move. I think it's gonna be Rocks, um, Pursuit, um, either Fire Punch or Ice Punch. Last move could be Stone Age, could be um, Crunch, something like that. He could also go into his Celestila here and fire off a Heavy Slam if he doesn't want to go into Tita and risk getting bopped by a fighting move. That's also a potential play for High. But I feel like he's gonna go T-Tar. Um, so because he, I don't know what he already revealed with his Torn, but it's most likely Defog, uh, Hurricane, U-Turn, and last move could be either Taunt, Knockoff, or Fighting Coverage move. Don't really remember what he already revealed though. Revealed. He just showed U-Turn. No, that's that's um, that's High who just went for U-Turn. I don't remember if because he's already went for U-Turn. It's also kind of weird to like narrate this. <laughs> Um, like the early game in hype was like in hyper speed for me because I missed a few turns. My man Kato told me they're playing Sunday, but apparently they were playing. They're playing now. But yeah, he definitely wants to go either Tita or Celestila here. I feel. Um, let me calc if Greninja kills the Torn. Greninja, um, if it's not an Ash form, this kills it with Pump, but it doesn't kill it with Dark Pulse. So he goes in a Tita. And he's most likely gonna click Stone Edge or Crunch here, just in case BKC stays in. Um, 
yeah, I don't think he's gonna pursue it in case because he stays in. And because he hard switches out, which means he might not have U-turn. We see a crunch, so High is probably lacking Stone Edge if he went for crunch. And yeah, we see his Rocky Helmet Tangrowth. And I think we're gonna see a Sleep Powder here from BKC as he misses on the Tita, which is really annoying. High was able to get the rocks up, knowing that he can live Earthquake or Giga Drain from the Tangrowth quite easily. And now High um, can pivot out into his own Tangrowth, or he can put something to sleep. Um, yeah, he takes advantage of BKC missing the Sleep Powder and now pivots into his Tangrowth, predicting the next, the next Sleep Powder. And um, HP Ice will probably do a lot. Um, HP Ice will do a lot to because he's Tangros because his Tangros is Rocky Helmet. I'm gonna run a card really quick. If he's the spread with 48 defense, physically defensive, then HP Ice does 37 to 44, so it's a roll to kill this. And because he still wants the Tang around, I feel. Well, it doesn't really help versus that much. It only helps versus the Megata, I guess. Um, but yeah, also High switches out there. He doesn't want to let his Tangros take a knockoff, so that's a good play. And it covers. Well, the Taunt can kill the Lily here, probably with a Sky Strike. I don't think a regular Hurricane would kill it though. Um, so we could see High switch out here into either the Tita or the Celesteela, um, predicting a potential Sky Strike. Regular Tornadoes, Hurricane does 50 to 59 to Lily. So um, because he's either gonna defog here or go for the Z move, one of the two. So he goes on a Celesteela, predicting him to go for Z, um, Sky Strike most likely. It's because he does just do that. So good play there on High's part. And I think he's just gonna Heavy Slam here because he's most likely just gonna go for Defog, knowing that he can live a Heavy Slam from High's Celesteela from the range he's at. And now he's gonna hard switch out because he doesn't wanna die to Rocky Helmet, I assume. I also, I still don't know if he has. Um, because Volcanion, Protect is kind of obvious here, so because he can potentially pull a double switch on the Protect, um, either either into his Megina here or um, maybe into his Tornadus to try and get more Regenerator. But Megina is more likely to come out because if you pivot into Torn, then you kind of force to switch again. So he does pivot into Megina, predicting the Protect gets the play right. So good play on BKC, and now he's free to Volt switch. Uh, High can stay in, but he can only get some chip damage on this with either Heavy Slam or Flamethrower. I think Heavy Slam might do more because. Oh, he's not intimidated here. Yeah, Heavy Slam probably does more than Flamethrower, right? He goes for Flamethrower, and because he's just gonna Volt out. Um, did he predict him to switch again? But yeah, now the Volcano is in, and now because Hi might just have to pick a fodder here. Um, he can. Yeah, he doesn't want to protect, and Lele definitely dies from this range, I think. Well, it might be a roll, but yeah, let's go down. Um, let me run a Kalk actually. So he goes Go Ninja, and because he's kind of forced to switch again, because he doesn't want to give this Ash Ninja. Um. Okay, that was actually a roll. Steam Eruption does 57 to 67 to the to the Tapu Lele. So damn, that was a, actually a lucky roll. I thought it would I thought it would kill because Steam Eruption is 110 base power, right? But yeah, now um, I assume he's gonna go Megiana and he's either gonna spike or Hydro Pump, most likely predicting the Megiana as he pumps this time, um, which would have weakened the Megiana. Now he's just gonna Volt again, yeah. Because if Greninja stays in the dice, if he switches, he gets momentum. Um, he pumped there, which covers the Megina and weakens it, and also covers him uh, high because he going DNC, predicting a spike. So Hydro Pump was definitely a fine play. He was never staying in there with the Volcanion. Um, how much would Volcanion have taken? But yeah, now the Tornadoes can come out or the Volcanion. I think he's most likely gonna go Torn though. I don't think he wants to let the Tornadoes take a hit from the tank. But yeah, let me just count real quick how much Dark Pulse from Greninja does. The 60 to 71 to the uh, Volcano. So, so I think he needs a high roll to kill. I don't remember how healthy the Volcano is. Okay, he goes the anti, knowing that he can live a Giga Drain. So because he's just gonna get the rocks up here if he went the anti, otherwise that play made no sense. And yeah, high goes for Giga Drain. Now, if HPS kills here, um, I could see high going for HPS, predicting the Tornadoes. Just to. Um, Get some good chip on the Tornadoes, preventing BKC from going Torn for free on the Giga Drain or on the Earthquake to get more regen. I think you definitely HP Ice here if it kills, which it should from 13 or 12%. Might, the DNC is probably at 12, knowing Showdown. Showdown runs down. Um, yeah, so BKC can probably save this DNC as 4 and switch out into his Torn. Well, yeah, I don't think DNC is gonna do much this game. Like, it can still come in later on in the game, I guess, on a weakened mono, potentially get a kill on a weakened Tita. Or, like, not really get a kill, but, like, maybe weaken something. But, yeah, he goes torn as he goes for HP edge, which is the correct play. Now, I don't know if High wants to stay in. Like, he can live a Hurricane, but if this Tangros gets knocked off, that would be bad for High, so... 
Okay, he does stay in. Wow. So because he goes Megina there, which was I think predicting maybe the T title to come out, and he probably doesn't have U-turn on the tornadoes. But yeah, now because he is probably gonna volt switch. Um, because or hard switch out because he doesn't want to take an off break from the Tangrowth. I still think he goes Torn instead of um, Torn instead of Volcanion exactly. Gets a higher roll this time with HPIs if I'm not mistaken here. And I don't know, I really stayed in with the tank on the Torn earlier. Like he could live any one hit, but he risked getting knocked. Like if his tank gets knocked, it can't live a hit anymore from the Volcanion probably, especially after some chip. So the Hurricanes, they're predicting him to stay in again, and this time he goes in a T-Tar. And now Landris comes out. Now this is kind of bad for BKC because if he clicks U-turn here, as high goes into the Torn, then he dies to Helmet. But high could also potentially stay in, predicting him to... What's it called? Like, I'm not sure if this T-Tar dies to Earthquake. It probably dies to Earthquake, yeah. But it doesn't die to U-turn. No, but Hi no, if Hype breaks the U-turn, I think he always switches into Torn to get the Rocky Helmet off. So that's because he pulled a double. Yeah, basically what I was trying to say is Hai could have potentially gone for Pursuit, predicting BKC to double out, knowing that BKC might not want to go for U-turn because he has a Helmet Torn in the bag. I didn't find the right words. But yeah, now he goes into gear and he's just going to Volt Switch. And high U turns out into most likely his AV Tangros, which is still healthy and can take Flurricans and Ice Beam from the Megirna. Uh, I assume the Tangros is either the spread with Sassy 228 Spadef, or it could also be the Max Spadef spread, because um, yeah, he's quite weak to Grin. There's other special attackers that it helps with. But yeah, let me open the Tangros and the Cult. How much does it take from Ice Beam from Megirna or from Flur? Um. So Flurkin does 32 to 38. Volt Switch obviously wouldn't do anything because it would just regen that off. And Ice Beam would do not every not every Megina runs Ice Beam, but this might run Ice Beam instead of HP Fire because because he has a Volcanion uh, which can check Scissor. He has Sky Strike on Tom which can bop Scissor. Well, I guess he's still kind of weak to Scissor, so he could also have HP Fire. But he goes into his tank now. High switches out because he wants to keep the Assault Vest on the Tangros really well played right there. I think he still has the AV, I don't think he got knocked yet. So Tita can live any hit from the tank from this range. And Tita can probably get the rocks up here for high. I just just got chip. Well I guess it's a bit risky because BKC could potentially go into his DNC here. But even if he goes DNC you don't lose anything because rocks are already on your side. It's not like you get rocks on your side by getting them up here because they are already up is what I'm trying to say. I mean, it's pretty obvious what's going on right here. So he's either going to attack to weaken this a bit, or he's going to get his rocks up. I assume he's just going to get the rocks up. He can lift uh, Giga Drain or off quick. And um, what does BKC go for? He goes for Fire Punch, okay. Does he go for Sleep Powder again? And he goes for Sleep Powder again and misses. So really unfortunate for BKC. Man cannot hit a Sleep Powder. Um. Damn, it sucks. So we might just see the rocks from high here. I thought he would go for them last turn. Because he probably wants to keep the tank around, get some regen here. Goes the anti predicting the rocks. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He, you don't go for rocks right there because he has the DNC to sack and get some regen. And bring in Volcanion afterwards. Yeah, going for rocks there would have been a bad play, my bad guys. I don't know why I considered it. Maybe the turn before was an option because the turn before, because he like, could have definitely stayed in and he also did stay in. But the turn after that, um, yeah, attacking was definitely the play. And because he was just either going to stay in with the tank or sack the DNC, he wasn't going to go hard Volcanion um, and let it take a huge hit because this Volcanion is a big threat. So Hai is going to ha have to sack something here. He might just sack his Tornadoes. Tita can still potentially get up the rocks now that the DNC is dead. Tita can get up the rocks on the tank. Um, not sure if it outspeeds the gear, but it can potentially get up rocks on the gear as well. So let's just sack the Torn. Now he can go Greninja or he can go into his... Um yeah, I think Greninja has to play, definitely. And now we got some prediction games going on here. I still don't think he's gonna go for Dark Pulse when there's a gear in the back. I think he's either gonna Spike or Hydro Pump. That's how I see it. And, like, because he... 
As you guys can see, I caught it earlier, right? It does 71 max Dark Pulse from Grinja before it's in Battlebond form because he definitely does not want to stay in and die to Dark Pulse and give him Ash, even if it's a roll. That's just not the play for him, so he's definitely just gonna switch out as he doubles back Natita, breaking the Megina to come out to get his rocks up. Good play from highest part. Uh, didn't think about that play. Well played. <laughs> um, so he's gonna die here, obviously, to either Iron Head or Fleur Iron Head. Now. This is actually a threat at plus one. Plus one Ice Beam will do a lot to the Tangrowth. Um, so what he can do here is... I assume he's just gonna go Tangrowth and click Earthquake. Because if I'm not mistaken, the Tangrowth is still super healthy, which means it's at 88 after rocks. So he can live anyone hit easily. Go Tang here, click Earthquake. Um, there's no reason to click anything else. If you go Tang, you definitely just click Earthquake. And then the next turn, you can still switch out to get some Regenerator. Um, most likely in the Saddle Stealer, which doesn't do too much in this game, besides maybe killing the tank or getting some chip on the gear. So you definitely off quick here, Ice Beam is gonna hurt. And he gets frozen, that's thaw though, phew. <laughs> off quick does a good chunk. Now Hai is just gonna switch here, he wants to keep the tank around. Uh, get some regenerator here, most likely gonna sack, well not sack, but go Saddle Stealer here. Um, well I guess if BKC volts switches, the Saddle Stealer might get low or die. But I'm pretty sure it's is still somewhat healthy, so Ice Beam shouldn't do too much. Mm. But yeah, when this Megina, every time this Megina gets chipped a bit more, Greninja just becomes a huge problem for BKC. Uh. Then this is a really cool and close game with like great picks from both sides, like interesting mods, not just standard dot. We have a Volcano and Dianthi, and then we have. Uh, well, Heist Team is a little bit more standard, but it's not super standard, like... It's a little bit different than the super standard builds that we see. But yeah, Tang or Bulu is like super common, or you usually see one of the two on most builds. But Hai is definitely gonna switch, there's no way he stays in to let the Tangers go down. He's just gonna switch Celesteela. Definitely, I think we're just gonna see Ice Beam from BKC. Yep. Only does 28, so the Celestia definitely has but Dev Investment takes it quite well. I don't know if he wants to go for Protect here. Well, he dies to Volt Switch anyway. Um, well, does because he want to stay in or does because he want to Hard Switch out is the question. Because he is slower than the... He's slower than the Celestia, which, like, being slower is good in the sense that you get a slow Volt Switch. But it's bad in the sense that you can take Heavy Slam or Flamethrower and get chipped a little bit more. But it's like it's good usually when people try to go for Leech Seed. When they think the Celestial is slower than Megina, they go for Leech Seed and get slow Volt switched on. And that scenario is really good, but it can also be bad um, because you take extra chip. I'm a big fan of Megina with Wish Pass. Problem is, there's not that many great Wish Passes in OU, and Alamomola is like a really bad Pokemon that I used to spam in OU. So you don't want <laughs> Like, what other good Wish Passes are there? Jirachi, but you don't want to use Jirachi when you already have a Megina on your team. I guess Clefable is a decent one, but then you also have double fairy typing. But Clefable is a decent one. Chansey is... Oh, Chansey is a good one. <laughs> but you're not using Chansey plus AV Megina. No, no, that's not good. <laughs> you're not doing that. I mean, Chansey is like a passive Mon. I would use it a bit more if Mons... Like, Chansey is really cool if you're like weak to Volcarona, Greninja, all those. But you don't want to like... The reason why you don't want to use it too much is because if it gets Volt switched on, then they get in their Medicham or the Mawile. So he doubles out um, because he doesn't want to let the... Yeah. He doesn't want to let the, the Megina take a Heavy Slam or a Flamethrower, knowing that he's slower than the Celesteela. Um, because the Megina can potentially still take a hit from the Greninja. Let me take a card. Uh, run a card. So um, he just knocks... Uh, he just texts again on the obvious knock. But yeah, let me cut. So Greninja's Hydro Pump does 28 to 33, which means because he's switching out, preserving his um, Megana means he can still take a Hydro Pump from Greninja, if my calc is right here. Is that even specs? Yeah, it is specs. So now he goes in his own tank and loses the Assault Vest. Um, that might be that might be bad for High losing the AV. Now, um... Does BKC go into his, um... Does BKC try to go into his... Volcano here, or does he just sack Tangles and go to it afterwards? There's a close endgame, but I think High uh, High's in a better position 
the sleep powder dodges suck. But yeah, I feel me just gonna sack the tank here too. Most likely a yeah, HP ice. Mm, I don't think high with tr uh, risk of quicking here, predicting a switch. I think HP is always the play. He gets a crit. Not sure if that mattered. I'm gonna run a call. I think that might have mattered. So now Volcanion comes out and gets a kill. But Greninja is kind of getting scarier and scarier. Greninja still has its specs, right? It didn't get knocked. So I think high sex is sell his dealer right here um, to get some regenerator, and then Tangrus can still take a hit from the Megina. But yeah, that crit actually mattered on the that crit mattered on the Tangros. But it's not gonna matter for the outcome of the game, I don't think. Well, well, I don't know because then his the Tangros would have been a bit lower. So now he goes Gren, and huh? If because he stays in on a Dark Bolt, then he pretty much loses. But if he goes Megiana on a pump, it's also bad for him. Um, dude, what do you click if you're high? I think you click Dark Bolt. This is a rough one. Oh, you could also double into Tang. That's also a potential play, yeah. If you break the Megiana. If you break the Megiana here, you either go for Hydro Pump or you double into Tang Growth. Those are the options. But like... Basically, it's a prediction type turn here. If you go for Hydro Pump and he stays in, you hard lose. Like, that's if BKC predicts you to go for Pump, or if BKC predicts you to double into Tangros predicting the Megina, and he stays in, then you also lose. But if you Dark Pulse and BKC stays in, BKC loses. So that's why he's most likely gonna go Megina, but it's a 50 50 that like, can go both ways. But yeah, highest play is either Hydro Pump and predicting the Megina or doubling into Tangros predicting the Megina. Or if he breaks BKC to stay in, then it's Dark Pulse. But it's like, it's more likely that BKC is gonna go Megina. Because first, High has to predict the Megina by either doubling into Tang or going for Pump. Or, yeah, even if he predicts it, Ryan goes for Pump, he still has to hit too. But he doubles into Tang predicting it, which was our option. Gets it right. Oof. And now he just clicks off quick, which hits both of these for super effective. So that was a good play on High. Uh, like, it was just so unlikely that BKC would stay in and die to Dark Pulse and give him Ash. I mean, staying in actually would have won him the game right there. So you can't... Yeah, it was it was an option. It was an option, but like... Like I said, even if High predicted the Megina and pumped... Like, he still had to hit 2, I think. Because it does like 30-ish. And yeah, like, he made this double into Tangos, which was really good on High's end. Predicting the Megina and... That way he does not have to risk missing pump, so that was super solid in that regard. And now he just clicks Earthquake, I think... Yeah, he just clicks Earthquake. He, he would have been able to live an Ice Beam, so as unless he got frozen there, he was fine. Now he did this is gonna go down. And now Megina comes back out. And... Oh, the Tangros lost the Assault Vest, I forgot about that. So now I might actually die the Ice Beam. Um, let me run the card real quick. Oh, I, I forgot that the Assault Vest got knocked. So Megiana's Ice Beam, then this is gonna come down to a roll maybe. Megiana's Ice Beam to Tangros that lost its Assault Vest. Does 30 to 30... F Wait, what? Why does it do that little? Oh, I forgot to remove the Assault Vest, my bad guys. I removed the ability instead of removing the Assault Vest. Ice Beam does 45 to 53, but now... I don't know if switching into Greninja was the play, I think that might have been a misplay on High's part. Because he only gains 20-ish percent with the rocks being up. 26 or something? Maybe a bit less. And now the Megina gets a special attack boost. And the Tangros healed a bit less than the Megina special attack boost. Like, the, this is gonna do a lot. Oh my god, High is so lucky. There must have been a roll. There must have been a roll and I think because he got a bad roll. But yeah, basically a plus one. Um, that would have done. If the Megina has no special attack investment, Ice Beam does... If it has 8 special attack investment, Ice Beam does 67 to 79. So he got a super low roll right there. Well, a mid, he got like a mid roll, but a bit lower. And if the tank, let's just say this, if the tank is maxed for death, then it would have done 65.8 to 77. So like, I think High missed the pump, but because he missed two sleep powders, so more hex in High's favor. Um, I'm kind of still waiting for them to post the calc because I don't know his exact spread. So that would be cool if they post the calc in the chat. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I enjoyed the game overall. 
But yeah, if I messed up some turns, just let me know in the comments. I know I'm not perfect, I make mistakes, especially in this game because I had to like talk from the back. Oh, he posted the calc. Plus one Megiana, Ice Beam versus Max Spadev. 65 to 76.9, exactly. Damn. Well, yeah, the, ro the roll wasn't really super in his favor, so I guess you can't call that a hex. But yeah, thank you guys for watching, and peace out, friends.